In this step, we are first going to create a project for our Cowbell app, and then we are going to create the user interface. So as you can see, I'm already in my App Inventor. I'm going to go to Project and create, click on Start New Project, and we'll name my project something like Cowbell. So this will bring us to the main window of App Inventor. This is the designer window, so we create all the user interface of our app by dragging various components from this left-hand side palette onto our main screen. And then later on in the blocks editor, we are going to grow and create the behavior of our app. So in our cowbell app, we are going to have a button which will show the picture of a cowbell. We will have a sound which will be associated with the cowbell sound file. And when we click the button, the associated sound will be played. So the first thing that we need to do is add all our components. So the first component is this button component, which is the first one under user interface. We are going to drag that to our main screen area. Now, as you can see, once you drag a component to the screen, the right hand side column is the properties column and over here you can set a whole bunch of properties for this specific component and this components column the second one from the right shows us a list of the components that we have added so far in our app so the first thing I'm going to do is change the image property for this button and I'm going to select the cowbell picture that I have already downloaded as my image for the button one. I'm also going to delete the default text for this button one. And I'm going to make sure that this picture spans the entire width of my screen and the height is something like 400 pixels. So that's the first component that we are going to use. The second component, of course, is the sound. And in order to drag the sound, we'll go to this media drawer and drag this sound component. Now notice as I drag the sound component, it shows up as a non-visible component because we don't get to see that when we look at the app. So once we add the sound component, I'm going to set the source to the sound file that I have also downloaded. So now we are ready to go to Blocks Editor and code the behavior of the app. 